So pretty simple. You can see we've just got a little path. It's kind of what we're looking for. I'll fix up the end here to make it look kind of neat. But the, so those aren't, that's not the path. The path is in the center and that will be, I'm gonna try white stone. So I'll buy a bag of white stone, see what it looks like. And if I like it and Nellie likes it, then we're gonna go with that. And we're probably gonna fill in the side with some dirt so that these aren't so raised. I think that's what we're gonna do. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah, and he can walk straight to his house. Got a nice little path. It's gonna be kind of neat. Stay tuned. Next. Okay, this one's a little more complicated because we have three. We've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. So we're gonna try and do something kind of neat here. And yeah, let's see how it looks. Well, that's kind of what I came up with. So they're all connected and they can come out. We'll fill that in, have kind of like a little spill effect. So it looks like they can actually join us on the main pathways. And they can just run up here and then go into their appropriate homes. So that's gonna be kind of neat. It's gonna look so much better once we get the actual, whatever we decide to use. And then we'll probably use different stuff, maybe some red mulch on one and some pea stone on one and some white stone. Try and keep it so that it's a little different. So we're gonna move on to the next one. We got a lot more to do. We've done three, four of 18. Lots more to do, guys. Oops, I forgot to do a before and after. Anyhow, this is the the actual, these are trees, solid trees. There's, there's, they're carved right out of trees. They're incredible. I gotta clean them up because they got a little bit of dirt on them, but we built this kind of, and attached it onto this one that's there and it'll come right out there. So this is kind of neat little city center there. There's one way over there. I'm not sure what to do with him. And I'm sure we're gonna change this many, many times, but that's how this one looks. It's actually looking pretty cool. On to the next one, which will be this one right here. Don't know where he's going. Maybe he can, there can be a little path that can take him to that one. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so you saw that one done and I'm just showing you this to show you the location of the next two. And we just did that one, which I showed you earlier. Nice little path that joins up with our main path. And the same thing here. Nice path. And we've got them coming, spilling out into the regular pass so they can use the pass that we use when they're roaming around. It's gonna look pretty cool actually with some different colored, because they'll really stand out when we do that. Might put some dirt in at the side just to, just to fill that in a little, but we'll see when we're done. So anyway, we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten done. We've got ten done, so that means we got eight more. I've only got two buckets of rocks, so I'm going to have to, to use these and then fill up some more buckets, so stay tuned. Okay, this guy's done. Got him spilling out into our main section here, and he's got a little garden. It's got some leaves that have fallen into it. But anyway, we could actually plant some little grass in there and cut it with scissors if we had nothing to do with our time. But anyhow, this is gonna look like, this is gonna be a little cool one, eh? Okay, this one, I couldn't figure out which way to go because it had a hosta there. So I said, hey, why don't we just go either way? So we got a nice path there for him or her, or her, slow down, and uh, and then right there. So this is gonna look pretty cool too. I think they're all gonna look, I'm quite excited. It's actually a lot of fun making these little paths for them. This is our next one. He's the one that's pretty much in Sherwood Forest, um, the very outskirts, the suburbs folks of the Enchanted Garden, the suburbs, the burbs. And uh, we're gonna put a little path down here last bucket so i'm gonna have to go digging for rocks after this fun 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 till your daddy takes a t-bird away here we go nice slope path nice means of egress nice and safe guys got a nice slope there and he'll be able to come here i'm sure we'll do something later but as long as we get the paths in and nelly and i are going to walk around each one and decide you know what fill we can get maybe just a whole bunch of different stuff and try next it few more left guys and this is one of them that's not too far you know to get out for this Habanone Ferry 
But uh, we do have a great big massive behemoth here. So I gotta figure out what to do with that. So stay tuned. Bam. And that's what we came up with. Just a straight uh, right, a beeline. We've made a beeline as the crow flies, guys. Whew. Right in and on to the next one. I'm gonna do right here. And then there. And then. There's my finger. It's there. Right there. The red one. So getting close, but I need to go. We're totally out of rocks. So I gotta go and dig more rocks. Yeah, that's not the not so fun part. But gotta do it. Okay, back here. This is definitely in Sherwood Forest. This is that big <laughs> crazy thing. So anyway, it's a bigger door, so I figured I'm gonna get some bigger rocks. So I did dig up some bigger ones to put here, and let's see how it looks. Voila, done. Done. That's what she's gonna look like, other than it's gonna be some sort of a color in there. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Next, two more left, guys, only two more. Done, 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 done. Use the contour of the tree up there. Done a nice path and brought it right into our main path. And obviously he hasn't weeded. So we need to evict. But anywho, that's done. One more. The over here. Done, done, done. This one I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do because that pasta was right there in the middle. So I thought, hey, this guy could actually pull up, zoom around, get out, and then drive right out or whatever they do. So anyway, that's that done. And I thought I was gonna be done. And as I was sitting here, I noticed this. So I guess we've only done 17. Or we have 19, I don't know, but we've got that one there. So what to do? I guess we'll go and dig some more rocks. <laughs> okay, done, done, done. We've got them all done. And this one, yeah, I was just prepared to come straight out. And then I saw that over there and I was like, oh, wait, he has buddies living in here. So I connected it up to this because we've got, remember at the very beginning, we did that, that connected to that. And then we gave them their pathway out right here. And he is just, he's in the same tree around the corner. So had to make a path that way. This is, everyone is gonna, this is gonna be a high traffic area. So I might have to do some reinforcement, put some dirt and fill that in a little. Okay, I leveled it off because we've got, it's like a fourplex in here. So I've leveled that off, made a nice uh, gradient to our actual path that us humans will walk on. So anyhow, I think we're all done this. It's time to bring Nelly out here. We're gonna take a stroll and then decide you know, what kind of pathways? They, they already look excellent. I really love it. Like now, before they were just doors stuck on a tree. Now they look like, oh my gosh, people actually live there. Which of course they do, if you're under eight and watching. And um, so we'll bring Nellie out and we'll check out some stuff and see, we'll be back to you in a few secs, see what we've decided.